So, like I said, I'm a big Cowboy fan. Um, <clears throat> we lost by two, 31-29. Dak was good. I mean, he, he was unbelievable, 403 yards, th uh, three touchdown passes. Um, but Greg Zerline, we missed a couple of field goals. That's what killed us. And um, the defense played great, but we have a lot of things to clean up here for the next game against the Chargers. But <laughs> well, we, we, we hung in there with the Buccaneers, the defending champs, Tom Brady, man. <laughs> the goat, he's the goat, and uh, you can't you can't give the ball back to him with one minute twenty four seconds, and you know what's gonna happen. Um, so, but it was a great all around game. We just have to clean up a few things with the Cowboys, but back looked good. Zeke needs to play better, but C D Lamb looked pretty good. Um, but I, I think, <clears throat> in my opinion, um, the problem was the field goal the field goal misses from Greg Zerline and um, the other, uh, and also. I think that was offensive pass interference at towards the end of the game with, with the Buccaneers. So I, I, I'm surprised they didn't call that. But all in all, I think it looked great. Dak looked great coming off from that horrific injury from last year, and um, he's back. Uh, and obviously, Tom Brady show still still has it at 44 years old, which is amazing. So he's the goat. So, uh, but uh, let's <clears throat> just have to clean up, clean up a few things and get ready for the Chargers week two. But let's get right into week one here: uh, Seahawks, Colts. Um, this is an interesting game. I, um, I think I got the Seahawks winning this game, but it's going to be a close game. I, I think both teams are equal. For me, Carson Wentz is a big key for the Colts, and he, he needs to stay healthy. And uh, if he does, then the Colts can make a deep run, playoff run. But Seattle is always competing. Russell Wilson, obviously, you got Jared Albert, a big pickup there. And uh, Dwayne Brown is back for the Seahawks offensive line. So <clears throat> I got the Seahawks there. Um, so that's going to be a good game, 1 o'clock. Jaguars, Texans, I got the Jaguars. Um, Texans, if you don't know anything about that, and with the Deshaun, Deshaun Watson situation uh, going still up in the air, Tyra Taylor got the starting job there in Houston, but the Jaguars, are, they're, they're, they got um, their young team. They got Trevor Lawrence and Urban Meyer is uh, coaching now there. So it's going to be interesting in that game. I got the Jaguars winning their young, feisty team, and I think Trevor Lawrence, uh, he's a good quarterback, obviously. But this season <clears throat> is going to be known for the this quarterback class, which was good. Trey Lance, uh, Zach Wilson, um, and then Justin Justin Fields, and he, and he got yeah, and Trevor Lawrence, obviously. So I got the Jaguars winning that game. Eagles Falcons, <laughs> I got the Falcons winning here. Uh, I think the Eagles are going to have a horrible season. We don't know their question marks, but but they got Jalen Hurts starting. Um, but they're a young team. So in the Falcons, um, I think they got something to prove with Matt Ryan coming back. Obviously, they traded Julio Jones, but they got some really good weapons still. So I think the Falcons will win that game today. Chargers and Washington, I got the Chargers winning, <clears throat> beating Washington. Uh, I like their team, Justin Herbert, and their defense is amazing. Joey Bosa, obviously, the headliner there. And then Washington, we don't know what we're going to get from Ryan Fitzpatrick and the rest of the quarterbacks they have. Uh, but that Terry McLaurin kid is a stud, so I like him. But I got the Chargers winning that game. Steelers, Bills. Uh, that's gonna be, this is going to be a great. I think this is a, te a team game to watch here. Uh, both defenses are amazing. Obviously, Ben Rosser coming back from the injury. Ben Rosserberger, uh, Josh Allen signing that big contract extension for the Bills. Um, <clears throat> I think both teams are. That team is going to be a defensive matchup. I think it, it, it could be a low-scoring game, and I got the Bills winning that game. Uh, 49ers, Lions. I oh, mean, this is interesting because the Lions obviously rebuilding team. Jared Goff, new quarterback, Matthew Stafford with the Rams now. Um, I got the 49ers winning this game. I think uh, they, this is another team that they got something to prove because with Jimmy Garoppolo, we don't know how long he's going to have because they got Trey Lance there. <clears throat> I like those weapons there with the 49ers. So that's going to be interesting. So I got the 49ers winning. Vikings, Bengals, I got the Vikings winning. Another team to have something to prove here with uh, Kirk Cousins. I like their defense, Anthony Barr and uh, man, great, great. They got a great defense. I like Mike, Mike Zimmer. He's a good coach, and he he just sometimes he doesn't get enough credit. So uh, I got the Vikings beating the Bengals, 49ers beating the Lions. Jets Panthers. I got the Jets winning. I think the Panthers with nah, it's gonna be interesting. Sam Darner facing their former his his former team, the Jets. So that's gonna be an interesting matchup. And but the Jets. Uh, I like Robert Sala, a big pickup for the head coaching job there. Obviously, you got Zach Wilson. They got you know, a lot more weapons now. So that's going to be an interesting game, but I got the Jets winning there. Cardinals, Titans. Um, I got the Titans winning. They got Julio Jones there. Obviously, the the Russian king, Derek Henry. I like Cardinals, but 
Kyle Murray. Uh, we got AJ Green there now, and then you got obviously the Hopkins. That has to be a great game too. So, but, but I got the Titans winning that game. Browns Chiefs. Uh, that's an excellent game. Four twenty five. Uh, man, this is a game to watch too. Baker Mayfield against Patrick Mahomes. Uh, the Browns have a great defense. Uh, both teams have great defenses, so that's gonna be uh, a fun matchup. So that's gonna be a tough. I think I'm gonna go with the Chiefs there, being at home, and obviously Mahomes. <laughs> you can't go against Mahomes, so I got the Chiefs beating the Browns. Um, Dolphins Patriots. That's gonna be a great matchup there, division matchup to start off the season. Today, 425, uh, you got Mac Jones versus uh, Tua. That's going to be interesting. So this is, so the page, <clears throat> this starts off the Mac Jones era in New England. So it's going to be weird. But let's see there. Mac Jones looked good in the training camp, some uh, preseason. So Bill Belichick went with them. They really, uh, as everybody knows, they released Cam Newton. So this is my friend Bobby's team. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, so I got the Patriots beating the Dolphins. I think Mac Jones, uh, he's going to have a good year, and he could be a great quarterback for the Patriots. And what a great way to learn from the GOAT, uh, Bill Belichick, an uh, excellent head coach in the league. You got the Broncos, Giants. Um, <clears throat> this is interesting. I like, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go with the Giants here um, because the Broncos, we don't know who's a good quarterback there. But Drew Locke, uh, uh, the Broncos to me, Every year we always talk about talk about them with the quarterback situations. Yeah, so there's a up in the air team there, but I got the Giants winning at home today. The Daniel Jones has no excuses. He has enough weapons now with Kenny Galladay, and uh, their defense got better. But the offensive line is still a question for me. Andrew Thomas is uh, doesn't look good on uh, during camp, so I think that the question mark there for him for the Giants is the offensive line. Packers Saints. I got, oh, this is a great matchup, but the, I got the Packers winning. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers, something to prove uh, with all the offseason news that he went through, uh, not want to be here. So I think this is, uh, we don't know if, it, if this is the last year with him in Green Bay, but yeah, I got him on my fantasy team this year, so I need him to step up big today. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I got the Packers beating the Saints because uh, but uh, Jameis Winston is starting for the Saints now, so I, but I think the Packers will win this game. Bears, Rams, uh, this is another great team. Uh, Sunday night football tonight. <clears throat> I think this is another great matchup. Uh, obviously, Matthew Stafford making his Rams debut regular season. Um, Deshaun Jackson's there. Man, the Rams uh, offense looks good. Defense looks good. Obviously, Aaron, Aaron Donald. And the Bears defense is amazing, too. Kelly Mack. Uh, but the Bears situation, we don't know because Andy Dalton started, and we don't know how, how long he will start for until Justin Fields comes in. So, the two interesting things here will be Jimmy Garoppolo and uh, Andy Dolan for uh, Trey Lance and Justin Fields. We don't know what when they're going to come in the season, but I got the Rams beating the Bears tonight. And then tomorrow night, uh, Monday Night Football, you got the Ravens, Raiders. Uh, Ravens, man, I feel bad. They, they keep getting injuries on the running back situation, but they signed Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, Levante Murray. So they, I think they should be fine there now. Um, and the Raiders, you got Darren Waller. I have him on my fancy team this year, so he, he's going to be a stud, obviously. Um, I think the Raiders are improved this year. They just have to show how to close out games for a little bit. But I got the Ravens. I got the Ravens winning tonight. I think Lamar Jackson, man, this guy is an amazing quarterback. Um, so I think uh, Ravens will win to, tomorrow night against the Raiders. So those are my NFL picks. Uh, I'll go through it again. I got the Seahawks, uh, Jag uh, Jaguars. Uh, Falcons, Chargers, Bills, 49ers, Vikings, Jets, Titans, Chiefs, Patriots, Giants, uh, Packers, Rams, and uh, Ravens. So those are my NFL picks for week one. Uh, and obviously, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be, I'm just happy that football is back. But the fans, it's good to see fans back now in these stadiums, especially with college football yesterday, yesterday and the last week. Um, good to see fans back. Uh, uh, so I hope to everyone enjoys their day today. Happy Football Sunday. You can find us on all social media formats, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the NR Hour Sports Show. You go, go subscribe to our YouTube spot for iHeartRadio. Um, so thank you again, and uh, enjoy the games. And, uh, oh, by the way, if you didn't see yesterday's game, I, uh, Ohio State lost to uh, Oregon. That was a big upset already, week two of the college football season. But uh, thank you again, and uh, stay safe.